lovelies welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my tanning routine and how I get through the day tanning without getting it everywhere what I use what tips and tricks I have so if you guys want to see my tan routine then let's just get into it first to start off with obviously I have had a shower I have moisturized I have boofed I have done everything that you do to pre prep for your tan um, so I am going to be taking the cause you are tan um, this is in the shade deepest darkest unfragrance number three so I'm gonna be taking that I'll just put it on like it's a dramatic difference you can literally see it already super sticky I usually tan at night um, I'm tanning during the day simply because when you're filming a video it's really hard to film at night so even with the lights and everything it's just not the same so I have done tanning this is the tan at the moment it's really sticky um, I can't stand going about my day with a sticky tan because I feel like I'm walking around you know like this and you just kind of like you know you can't do anything so I hate the fact that I have such sticky tans it's not the problem isn't like here or like on the there I'm clearly not as flexible as I used to be but like it's in the joints you know when you're moving like it's my armpits it's in here it's the back of my legs um so because I've tanned during the day and like even before going to bed I use the Tansy fairy dust because this is like a setting powder for your tan but Fun fact, you can also use it as setting powder on your makeup, which I am going to be doing, of course, because how handy. This is its little packaging, and then you come with a little powder puff. My hands look really orange. So, I'm just going to take off the inside film. Here we go again, another battle with another one. Oh no, this one came up really easily. Right. So, I'm going to put a bit in the lid, like I would if I was setting my face. And then I'm going to take my powder puff and I just dip it in and I'm going to put it in the crevices where I hate getting sticky. So in here, I'm just going to pat that on. Like instantly it's not sticky, which is fantastic because I just hate the stick. Like I just hate sticky tan. Honestly, who does enjoy walking around feeling sticky? Not me. Because like if you have been my friend and you tan with me, you know that when I am letting things dry, I like tuck these under and I don't move because I just, I hate it, you know, and it transfers everywhere and it like, if you're sweating, it's just annoying. So this stuff just like instantly sets it and um, stops it from moving around, which is really, really good. See? And it like makes it more matte looking as well. You can tell where it is and it just sets it in place. So I'm also going to do it under my arms because already feel them <laughs> it's like putting like a powdered deodorant on but it just and I like to do my chest as well because my chest gets a little bit sticky and my double chin as well like this was probably the best invention why didn't they have this around when I was like 14 and I'd be marinating on a Thursday night before the weekend parties but I'd have to just like me and my friends would just sit there in our long t-shirts just like this on the couch on towels whereas you just put this on looks really weird but you know as you can see it like mattifies it as well and the powder puff is free so you don't have to buy a powder puff how awesome I actually do have a discount um, for TNZ um, I will put it on the screen and I will leave it down below as well as their website and their Instagram but you know also you know being a girl you'll understand under boob sweat so it's disgusting, but I like to set under there as well. But you guys aren't going to say that. And I'm also going to put it on the back of these parts here. 
because I really, it's just the crevices, you know? It's just the places that are constantly always touching the other parts of your skin and it's just like one of those really uncomfortable things. But yeah, mainly I like to do my chest, my neck, um, my armpits, and my boobs because people with boobs will understand what I'm talking about. Um, and I like doing the inner parts of my arms as well, just because, yeah. But it really helps. When I found out that Tan Z had fairy dust, I was kind of like, what, what are you talking about? The setting powder for your tan, you're yeah, right. And then I bought it and it is literally like the best thing ever. Like I love it so much, it's so good and it's just so helpful, especially if you're tanning throughout the day and you like still want to go about your daily routine. It's like perfect. It's also infused with like shimmer, so you leave like a shimmering, like you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm shimmering in my creases where I have set. And it literally dries your tan in an instant, so it's so good and it is vegan. We love a vegan product. So I'm kind of treating my tan video as like a, I would be doing this on a Thursday, Friday night. It is Friday today anyway, but let's treat it as if it's a Friday night. So after I tan, I usually have a cup of tea, as I am now. I do it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, but you know, when you're stuck in isolation, what else is there to do? Time gets away from you. Usually I will sit up for a little bit and then I would go to bed. So let's go to bed. Okay. so. We're pretty, pretty much doing it as if I was going to bed right now. So what I do is I, when I was younger, like I used to go to bed and I would wake up in the morning and my pillow would be absolutely stained like crazy and my bed sheets would be stained like crazy and everything had tan over it. And I don't know about you guys, but my partner literally hates tan. He can't stand the smell. He can't stand coming near me when I'm wearing it because I'm always sticky and I'm always gross and like he just hates it. And you know, I don't think he really likes waking up in the mornings covered in tan when it wasn't his intention to be tan. So that is why I use the Tansy tanning um, sheets because A, my partner doesn't want to be covered in tan and B, neither does my bed sheets. So when Tansy, they are the original and the best tanning sheets ever. They've, I remember when they first came out and I really, really wanted to get it, but you know, being like a 14, 15 year old, couldn't afford it. So I finally got my hands on one, um, but like it is literally the best and it has literally saved my bed sheets and my partner's sanity from being covered in tan. And I'm sure so many people can relate as well. But as I said, they're the original. If you want one, I have a discount code. They're just called a bed sheet protector. I have it in rose gold because I am obsessed with rose gold and pink. And it comes in like this little, it's like a sleeping bag. You know, when you roll them up and they go into like a bag, but this one is attached to itself. So, it's really windy outside. Ew. So what you do is you just take it out and I just chuck it on the bed. Oh. What you do is you literally, you just place it down as if it was a normal bed sheet. But the good thing is it has a pillow protector as well. So you literally just grab the end I just pop my pillow in there. I got the big one because I like spreading out when I sleep. So I chuck my pillow in there, pillow's all protected, and then the little bag bit is down the end here, which is really handy. And then I just chuck it under my bed sheets, like that. And then you just put your doona over the top like that. Like literally, it's just like a normal bed sheet, but because it's silky and it's satiny, for some reason, the tan doesn't transfer, so. And it's got a little flap because I sleep, I don't know about you guys, but I sleep with like one arm under the pillow, which I can't really do in this, which is good because I don't get tan on any other part of the bed. But I put my arm out and sleep with my hand like that. So I don't transfer anything onto the pillow, but I also don't transfer anything onto the top of the doona because when you get in it, <laughs> you've got the little like pencil thingy. It's time for bed. So I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, so it is the next morning I slept in my tan. I have just washed it off. Um, as you can see, it is still nice and dark. Um, but yeah, so I slept in my tan day last night. So I just wanted to show you guys the fact that it um, didn't leave any marks. 
So there's a tansy. I'll set up. Sleepy sleepy in it. Didn't get it on my boyfriend, which was good because he hates tan, as I mentioned last night. Okay, so this is a pillow. There is no stains on it. There is no tan. I mean, it's dark, so you wouldn't be able to tell anyway. But if you guys can see, there are no tan marks where I slept. I don't really have anything extravagant. It's just simply like chucking on and then lemon, like marinate overnight. Um, but the Tansy, um, I have a discount code for that as well. So I'll put it on the screen somewhere, anywhere. And I will also link it down below as well. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it um, and seeing my tan routine and how I don't get tan on my bed, my boyfriend, anything but me <laughs> um, and how I set it in place and what I use. And yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below as well. And if you would like to join my little army, then please hit the big red subscribe button as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.